And not only that, they are not even from the same tribe, which means they are not from the ancestor, which means Muhammad even making it worse when he said that. And there is additional way to confirm that this is a very, very stupid error. Anyone knows how we, took, how we can confirm that? Who is a Muslim want to call me? Three hours later. Do you know why the Muslims are not answering? Because it's very embarrassing. The father of Mary is Omran. The father of Musa is Omran too. <laughs> Unbelievable. Once again, beloved, I greet you and I welcome you to Lost in Media. My name is Bartis Steven, and uh, whenever you meet up with me here, you know for sure we are going to delve into uh, the claims that has been made since time immemorial by Islamic gurus or Islamic scholars, excuse me. You see, so uh, right now we are actually going to react on a program that went on by Christian Prince. He was actually talking about uh, the idea that Muslims uh, say in the Quran that uh, Mary's father was Imra, uh, what is it? Amran, I'll be getting to Amram, and also uh, they are actually uh, referring or putting Miriam of the Old Testament for Mary. Uh, okay, this is exactly what makes us know for sure that the Quran was a fabrication or it wasn't from any God. I'll be getting to because uh, seriously, God doesn't know for sure that uh, Miriam was the sister of Aaron and Moses. Obi get to me. So Muhammad was confused over here, and thus he put uh, Mary for Miriam of the Old Testament. And the moment he came, he came across uh, Mary. He thought maybe it was the brother of, it was the sister of Aaron and Moses. You see, because he's actually going to ascribe the father of Miriam to that of Mary. <laughs> I'll be good to me. So we are taking a quick break and surely Christian Prince asked some questions. He asked of who is a Muslim and plays some part of the Zakra Nike and all that. So I'm actually going to react on this after you are done watching this program. May God bless you. Well, quickly, shall we go to Christian Prince? Who is a Muslim? Want to tell me what is the name of the father of Musa? Maybe, maybe. Who is a Muslim? Now, hold on, Muslim. They will not answer you unless you sing it for them. The Quran. What the name of the father of Musa? If there is anyone can tell me what the name of the father of Moses is, I cannot squeeze myself more to ask you what is the name of the father of Moses. Two hours later. What the heck? Until now there is no response. Mary is the sister of Aaron. Why, Muslims, why? Oh, brother, brother, they used to call them by their editor. The Christian, there is a guy, his name is the Christian prince. He always say how Allah, he called in the Quran, Mary, the sister of Aaron. That's because he's stupid. In the old days, the brother, they used to call a person by his ancestor. By, by what? By their ancestor. But Mary, she is not from the ancestor of Aaron. <laughs> Mary is from different tribe, Abdul. She have nothing to do with the tribe of Moses. Mary in the Quran, her father is Umran. This is why the chapter, there's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of Umran. Mary father, his name is Umran. Moses father, his name is Umran. And Mary is the sister of Aaron. How more we need to prove that Muhammad is making poo-poo. 
when the when the Christian and the Jews start making fun of Muhammad after he said, Oh sister of Aaron, Muhammad he wanna fix it. It's too late now. He said that this is Allah speaking. What he can say, it's a mistake. So Muhammad he have to come with a solution. He said, in the old days they used to call them with their ancestor. But that will not help too, because Mary she is not from the ancestor of Moses, which is the brother of Aaron. Or what happened, Muhammad the dummy, he heard the Jews saying that Aaron, he have a sister, her name is Mary. So Aaron and Moses and Maryam are three from one family. So Muhammad, he come to the conclusion that this is, must be Mar Maryam is the same Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron. When the Muslim, they try to cover up this story, uh, by saying that Muhammad said, our Prophet said, that people they used to be called by their ancestor, that would be contradiction for the Quran, because the Quran says you call them by their fathers. In the Quran, it says it clearly, you have to call somebody after his a true father. And Moses and Aaron, they are not a true father. And not only that, they are not even from the same tribe, which means they are not from the ancestor which means Muhammad even making it worse when he said that. And there is additional way to confirm that this is a very, very stupid error. Anyone knows how we, took, how we can confirm that? Who is a Muslim want to call me? Three hours later. Do you know why the Muslims are not answering? Because it's very embarrassing. The father of Mary is Umran. The father of Moses is Omran too. <laughs> Unbelievable. You see, beloved, that was just by the way. <laughs> you see, oh, it's something that is, um, it's something that boggles mind. I hope he gets with me. It boggles mind. It, it, isn't, it, I, it isn't fathomable. I hope he gets with me. It isn't fathomable. Uh, seriously, uh, what, how can you say that um, Mary's father was Amram? Okay, what about her, her, her mother? That was Jochebed. I hope you get to me. So if you've ever read well the Old Testament, you've come across uh, the mother and father of Miriam, Moses, and Aaron. I hope you get to me. And uh, you know for sure that Miriam lived some centuries uh, prior to the uh, birth of, or prior to the existence of Mary on earth. I hope you get to me. Yeah, they lived some centuries over centuries over centuries prior to the time of Mary, Jesus Christ, and Joseph, and all that. So, how can you put Mary for Miriam and Miriam for Mary? And you go ahead to uh, give several lot of verses and passages in the Quran that says that Mary's father was Amram, and also goes uh, on forward to say or to, to indicate that uh, his brothers were Aaron and Moses. This really means that uh, the, the 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 genius behind the write up of the Quran never knew what actually he was. Uh, stipulating how we get to him so all these actually helps us to understand and to conclude that indeed the Quran was a fabrication it wasn't given by any God how we get to because the God the Bible speaks of the God Christian speaks of uh, isn't uh, in this kind of erroneous state how we get to him yes that's exactly what makes the Bible superior to the Quran and that's we believe in the Bible to be the inspired word of God. We believe in its apostolicity, genuity, accuracy, and all that. What about the Quran? Allah claimed his possible Allah claimed to uh, be able to protect the Quran, guard it, and all and all that guided stitching and all that in Quran chapter 15, verse number nine. What about Surah Al-An'am, Ayah 34, Surah Al-Yunus, Ayah 64? All these verses of the Quran says Allah was going to be able to make the Quran. And better for you, but you know for sure it isn't any better. It is uh, filled with fabrications. I'll be good with me. Yes, Mary's mother wasn't me. Uh, what is it? Um, uh, George Bed, and uh, her father wasn't Amram. Okay, talking of whose father was Amram? That was Moses, Aaron, and also Miriam. Miriam is different from Mary. Okay, that's the is that reason Muslims will put Maryam. Okay, Maryam in the 
in a way that they are referring uh, Miriam of the Old Testament. And they are actually also referencing the Mary that brought forth Jesus Christ on earth. This really means the Quran is confused. The genius behind the write-up of the Quran is confused over it. That's exactly what Christian Prince was trying to show you. May God richly bless you. Uh, you, you. You being a Muslim, I know you've been introduced to several lot of isms and all that. And your Quran, in Surah Al-Maidah, Ayah 101, tells you to never ask questions and all that. When your Imam uh, teaches you, you have to just listen to them and just let things go. No, you don't have to do that. If you do this, it really means Islam is an information-controlled cult. And Muhammad knew for sure that information was the greatest enemy. And thus, he tried to just chip this in your mind so you won't be able to seek for information that would help you to dismantle and desert Islam. Well, we're helping you, we're liberating you from all these kind of slavery uh, thoughts. I'll be getting to me. So make sure to drop a comment under the comment section and make sure to like the program and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to share the program to everyone. Tag all Islamic channels for us. May God bless you. Bye bye. <laughs>